Good morning. I'm Bruce Stevenson. I'm the guy on the left up there. And the person on the right is Linda Piccinini, who's my partner in today's dental consulting. And what I'd like to do this morning is take a few minutes to show you payment options 4.0. This is our newest version of the payment options. I want to tell you a little bit about making payment options with patients in general, and then specifically how to use this program. It's all predicated on the idea that you always want to give people choices, all of them yours. An article in last year's ADA Journal showed that the number one reason patients do not go to the dentist is not fear of the dentist, but concerns about money. So why in the world do we show them a printout from our practice management software, from whatever practice management software we're using, uh, this got all this detail and all it does is generate questions. Well, I really need that. Why does my insurance only pay this? Is there something else I can do here? Um, because patients really don't know anything else to ask a lot of times. But the point is, you're scaring them half to death. It's just like waving the forceps in front of the patient and saying, I'm going to pull that tooth right out of your head. We don't do that, so why in the world do we wave this thing in front of them? I can tell you that using a printout like that, regardless of the practice management software, is sucking the life out of your case presentations. Your case acceptance will be much better if you don't use that. Okay, well, what's the alternative? I'm going to show you that in just a second. What you should do is show them a printout from something like Payment Options 4.0. Whether you use this program or you make your own, let me kind of tell you the general principles here. The idea is to make treatment comfortable for the patients. It's not about the treatment itself. This is about how patients can afford the treatment. Remember, that's their number one concern. So keep that in mind. Again, I can't overstate that, that the case presentation is one, th one thing, and the payment options and discussion about how they're going to pay for the treatment is a totally separate discussion best handled by a staff person. One of the verbal skills for the staff person is we have several different ways to make the treatment affordable. Let me tell you what they are and then you can decide which one works best for you. Again, give people choices, all of them yours. Here are the choices that we recommend. First of all, prepayment. Now, with a discount, now, this is not just prepayment of the patient's portion. This is prepayment of the patient portion and the insurance portion. This is prepayment of everything, the patient's total obligation. And we recommend you give a 10% discount for this, but you can decide on whatever discount you want. But again, this is not a discount for just the patient portion. This is a discount for the patient and the insurance portion. Second choice, and you'd be surprised, by the way, at the number of people who will take you up on that. Uh, the second choice is payment during treatment. You know, sometimes people, especially right at first, are not real sure about you, and they're just not comfortable giving you all that money up front. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if you figure this is going to take three appointments, let's say, you divide the patient portion, not the insurance portion, just the patient portion, by three, and that's how much the patient should pay at each appointment. However, and this is critically important, the first payment is due when the first appointment is scheduled, not at the first appointment. At that first appointment, it's the second patient payment that's due. So keep that in mind. That will cut down on your failed appointments phenomenally. Actually using payment options like this will cut down on your failed appointments. Because again, a big reason why patients miss appointments is because they're concerned about how they have to pay for it. You haven't covered that ground with them. You haven't made them comfortable yet. Okay, the third option down there is extended payment plans. Make it affordable for the patient some way. Now, this is an outside uh, source of funds. I, we don't recommend you do this in the office. So if this is care credit or lending club or whatever one you want to use, I'll use kind of the care credit example because that seems to be number one out there. And you can do this either with an interest plan to the patient, which will cost the office less money, the discount to the office is less, or you can offer an interest-free plan to the patient, in which case the discount to the office is going to be more. In either case, you're going to get all your money, or less the discount, up front. 
So that's a nice option a lot of times. So three choices, prepayment with a discount, payment during the course of treatment, no discount there, or extended payment plans, no discount there to the patient, but the office is, is discounting to care credit or whoever it is. So keep those three in mind. Here is where our payment options are. I'm gonna show you again in just a second. Uh, and we have them show up just in treatment plan in our copy of Open Dental. You can use payment options regardless of which software you're using. Open Dental interfaces nicely with it and you can get a little button in there, but you don't have to do it that way. So let's go look at Donald Duck. Uh, Donald needs a lot of treatment, okay, and it's going to be fairly expensive. So remember, this is the sheet I said we never want to give the patient because they're going to nitpick all these little details. Well, why does it show this and so forth? So what we want to do instead is try and make these numbers affordable to the patient, to fit those into the patient's budget. And that's what we're going to use the payment options. There's the payment options and Open Dental is right up there. In other software, you can put it anywhere that you want to. Now, rather than click on it up there, I cheated because I put some numbers in to save some time. I put Donald's name up at the top and I said all recommended dental treatment. So you can put any kind of notes in there that you want. I took these numbers right here and filled them in over here. So there's my total treatment, primary insurance, secondary insurance. I'll come back and talk about these two guys in just a minute. I said down here that I think for this treatment it's probably going to take about five appointments. And so we can split, if Donald prefers, we can split his portion among those five appointments. I also said I'm going to give him 12 months interest free through care credit, let's say. We can change that, but let's look at it this way first. Uh, here's how much of a discount I'm going to give him. You can change that also, but for right now, let's look at these numbers. All I have to do is click on Print Preview, and this thing pops up. Now, I print this. There's the print icon right up there. So I have a piece of paper so I can sit down with Donald knee to knee with a pen in my hand so I can circle things and underline them as necessary. And I say, Donald, this is how much your total treatment in our office is going to be. And good news, your insurance, we estimate, is going to pay about, about $2,500. So your portion would be this amount right here. You know, by the way, you shouldn't do these at the front desk, but if you are, then don't say the numbers. Say, Donald, this is how much uh, your total treatment would be. This is what we estimate your insurance will cover. And you're using the pen and marking those things but better to do it in private, but you also may not want to call out those numbers. Anyway, Donald, uh, we have several ways that you can pay for this in our office, and just let me know, I'm gonna tell you all of them, and just let me know which one works best for you. First of all, if you want to pay the total amount up front, including the insurance portion, you're gonna save $767. So that's quite a big savings um, if you're interested in that. If you prefer to pay during treatment, the doctor thinks it'll take about five appointments, so we can divide your portion uh, by five, and that'll be about $1,000 at each of those appointments. The first payment is due when you schedule your first appointment, okay, which would be today, hopefully. Or we can arrange an interest-free 12-month payment plan for you through an outside agency, and so interest-free, and your payments would be $431. Or if you'd like to get your payments even lower than that, also through the outside agency, we can get your payments down to about $100 a month or maybe less. So Donald, which one of these sounds best to you? Which one are you going to be most comfortable with? And Donald says, oh, I think I, I'd like to do that one. Say, great, okay, let me be, put a big circle around that. And say, Donald, I'm going to put my initials down here. Remember, we're working on a piece of paper. Paper is still a great display device. Say, Donald, I'm going to put my initials right down here, and I'd like you to initial that for me, and I'm going to give you that piece of paper. This is not a contract, Donald. This is just to say, I gave you this piece of paper. And so you initial, Donald initials, you scan this in real quickly. We recommend you scan it into Open Dental Images or wherever you want to put it. So now you, and you give the piece of paper to Donald. So now you have a record of not only what you told Donald as far as the amounts, but what he decided on, you know, this, your numbers and everything are all under and highlighted, however you want to do it, okay? It's a working sheet to explain things to Donald to make it comfortable for him, 
say, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't like this 12 months interest free here. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to pay that because that's going to cost me about a 10% discount uh, to the office. And I say, okay, all right, let's go back here. Let's just close this and let's change it right here. Okay, so I'm going to change it rather than 12 months, I'm going to say zero. Okay, and now let's go back and look at that. Poof, the interest free went away. Okay, it doesn't have a big zero in there, which would make the patient feel kind of bad. So it just, it just went away. And you say, okay, you know what? Um, I trust Donald. I don't want to do care credit, but I will give him nine months to pay in the office. Now, remember we said this is supposed to be for the number of appointments, but you don't have to do it that way. If you want to do an, some sort of a payment plan in the office, uh, you know, it just says number of payments there. It doesn't say per month or per visit or whatever. So I say, okay, let's just go back here and let's change that five. You decided nine, okay? And all we gotta do is click on print preview. Poof, we're back here again, did the math, okay? So very easy, very quick. Uh, don't forget to tell Donald that you wanna collect that $575 today when he schedules that first appointment. This is on every one of them. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let me show you something else. I promised I'd come back and look at this guy. What I would like to do is underestimate the insurance. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes underestimate the insurance. Because they're kind of flaky insurance companies. And a lot of times your estimates will be off a little bit. And what I would like to do, now we've told Don this is just an estimate, but what I would like to do is underestimate the insurance a little and overestimate what we collect from Donald. Because I'm not trying to cheat Donald at all. What I want to do is give Donald a refund check when we get done rather than send him a bill. Okay, that's what this is for. So let's just go in and change this to 90. Okay, now remember before we had $2,500 total for the insurance, I changed this to 90. Okay, we're not going to show this thing to the patient. Okay, and we click on this and you notice it went down. Okay, instead of $2,500, now it's $2,250. Again, we're not trying to cheat Donald. Okay, we're going to make sure that he gets all his money. It's just easier to over collect a little bit and give a refund than it is to give him a statement of when we estimate it in the wrong direction. So that's how you can correct for that. You don't have to do that, but you can. Okay. Um, all right, so I showed you all these things. This is the way you would use it with all software except Open Dental. But with Open Dental, I have another option, which I actually prefer. Okay, now I want you to, before we change it, I want you to notice this amount here, 7676, and the patient portion over here, the insurance portions and the patient portion. So the patient portion was 5176. Okay, now let's make some changes here. Let's go back to Donald's insurance. And you'll notice it says category percentage in here. Okay, that's the way all software is. Open Dental will do it this way as well but it also gives you the option of changing this to PPO percentage. Okay, and I think that's what I want to do. Check to make sure your fee schedules are correct here. I'm going to change it there. I'm going to change it here. All right, again, my fee schedule looks good there. Now where you don't want to have a different fee schedule is over here in the patient information. This should always be none. Always, always, always. Okay, so let's go back now to our treatment plan. Look at those numbers again. They didn't change yet. But now what I'm going to do is update my fees. Whoa, this number got a lot bigger. Okay, these numbers are the same. And most importantly, this number is the same. But I now have a big discount in there. And what this does, instead of posting the fee schedule fee, it posts the UCR fee. It allows me to show the patient what my normal fees are and how much they save by having the treatment done in my office. Okay, let's go back now and explain it to Donald. You don't have to do it this way, and you can't do it this way if you have anything other than Open Dental. But if we go in here and change this number 
to 11220. Okay, the insurance is going to stay the same, but this is where this discount comes in. Okay, that's this number right here. Okay, I put this number in here. That's the difference between your UCR fees and the PPO fee schedule. So that's 34.7950. Okay. Oh, we better give Donald this, you know, I, I'm feeling generous again here. So actually I'm gonna go clear out to 18 months. With Invisalign I go to 24 months and that cost me 11.9%. Uh, but I'm gonna change this back to five. So I'm making all sorts of little changes in here. I'm gonna change this back to 100%. Okay. This is the number you wanna pay attention to. And this number. Poof. Okay. So now we've got a much bigger number up here but say Donald, you know, again, I'm sitting right beside him. I'm circling these numbers. This is how much you save if you have the treatment done in our office. This is our usual fee for your treatment. This is how much you save, almost $3,500, if you have the treatment done in our office. And that's the way you present it to Donald. Okay, all these other numbers will work out. The math is done automatically. Remember I changed that to five. I said 18 months down here. Uh, you still got all these other options in there. Okay, the difference is you now have a big discount in our office that you can show the patient. You're giving them that discount anyway. And what I'm saying is, hey, let's make some lemonade out of these lemons or these crappy fee schedules that people are giving us. Okay. So that's about it for using the payment options. I didn't mention the senior citizen discount, but you can put that in there too. So if we were gonna use the senior citizen discount, let's take out the insurance here for just a second. And let's take out this discount right here, okay? So let's pretend that this is a patient who doesn't have any insurance, okay? We well, took those things out. Let's go back here, okay? It took out all that insurance stuff. Okay, that's don't muddy the waters. It just is showing the payments here and the prepayment and so forth. Okay, so let's go back here and give the patient 10% um, senior citizen discount. Do whatever you want. We like to do a generous senior citizen discount. And we're going to keep this 10% prepayment down there. And we're going to give them 18 months. Okay, so we didn't change any of those things. So let's go back here. So now I'm showing my senior discount up there. This is how much your senior discount is in our office, $1,100. Whoa, okay. And if you want to prepay, you can save another $1,000. I combine those two discounts. Okay, that's all. So this is very adaptable regardless of what, whether Donald has insurance, whether he's a senior, whatever, okay. Now, the other place where you can use, as long as we're talking about this stuff, the other place where you can use this discount is if you use like a QDP uh, plan, you know, an in-house discount plan, then the same, you'd set this up the same way, so you're showing the, the discount with QDP, and you'd put that number in there, okay? But you wouldn't, obviously wouldn't have any insurance in there. Careful when you're setting up plans like that, you gotta do it the right way. Okay, so, that is payment options. Uh, Donald Duck is all happy now. He's going to have the treatment done. Uh, he's going to pay $500 at each of those appointments or whatever it was. Um, and that kind of wraps it up. If you have any questions about how to use payment options, uh, by all means, you can call Linda or you can email us. All right. Thank you very much for paying attention to this rather long video.